My name is Rosette Katz. I live in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, where I was born. I'm Jewish. And what I would like to tell is that my family was murdered by the Nazis because they were Jews. I survived, be survived because they brought me into hiding with a Gentile family who raised me and cared for me and loved me. I think that was the most important thing of my life because I was loved. Um, nevertheless, I had a difficult life, a complicated life. And that was because I heard when I was six that I wasn't the one I thought I was, I were. Uh, because my parents didn't live anymore, was told to me. And my daddy and my mommy weren't my parents. So at that moment, after the war, I started to be very much confused and afraid. Afraid for being excluded and even for being killed because I had understood that my parents were killed because they were Jews, so I must be a Jew, whatever that must mean. And I was so afraid that I didn't want anyone to know my feelings. So I became a very much adapted, very sweet, very uh, caring and loving girl, being an actress. No one ever saw inside me. And that is the message. When you are treating each other not properly, you don't know what you are evoking. You don't know how another person feels. Feels. You can't know. Maybe there are millions of actors and actors amongst us. People who are bullied or treated uh, badly for one reason or, 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 or another and who don't want to show the pain they are carrying. And why I tell this it took me more than half of my lifetime to get over it. And that's why my life became so complicated and so, so entangled. And I never trusted myself to be myself. And it took a lot of therapy and, and other things until I finally could be myself. And ever since, I tell my story to youngsters at schools and in groups. And, and um, because I know the importance of being yourself. And when I tell my story and that of my family to the people in classrooms or ever, uh, I always emphasize the importance of try to think, try to, to take your own responsibility responsibility and try to make choices because that's all connected firmly together and I wasn't able to make choices and to uh, to take responsibility I just adapted because I had no identity I was just confused and that is a big um, that is that is something which you can fall into when you are not aware of that. So that is kind of my message, which I always uh, try to summarize with one sentence of uh, a famous rabbi in the Jewish uh, tradition, Rabbi Hillel, who said when, him, when, when they asked him to tell uh, what was the Torah, the Jewish Bible about, in one sentence, or standing on one leg is the tradition, uh, and then he answered, just what you don't want to be done to you, do not do that to someone else. So, and that is where it's all about. Treat each other like you want to be treated. I think this is a message enough. <laughs>